Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Majora's Mask. So let's continue to go with the flow and get on out of here. Now at this point I don't think we can actually enter any of the red rooms. Or maybe it's the green one? Maybe it's both. No, we should be- no, okay, I lied. We can enter the red room. Ah, Jesus Christ, get out of here. Okay, uh, what's in here? No, get away. <sighs> no. Ah, Jesus. Friggin' Octoroks. Hate them. Get in the damn way. Okay. Uh, what do you want now, Tattle? Uh, if you could somehow step on top of that Octorok, I bet you'd be able to climb onto that central pillar. But the Octorok is so squishy and it keeps squirming around. There's gotta be something you can do. Uh, that's what she said? Ah, Jesus Christ, look at this fool. Get away from me. Okay, so maybe we... Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, so maybe we can't do everything in this room, but we can probably do a few things. Get out of here, yet. Ah, oh, Jesus. That is so eerie how it always has that huge grin plastered across its creepy face. And it, it looks like it's high, too. Okay. Let's see. Okay, I knew that we could do something. Jesus Christ, I almost fell off there. Okay, I know that we can go through this door. And since we have a key, we might as well. Okay. Now, uh, I'm not sure if we can do what we're supposed to do in this room, though. Uh-oh. Oh, no. It's that fight. Crap, and how am I going to be able to do the sword spin attack? Okay, well, we're either screwed or, you know, things. Uh, I might as well stock up on magic if there's any available. Okay, it doesn't look like there is. That is not very good. Because there's a huge-ass thing right here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Can you imagine just going into a room and then looking up and seeing that... This big eyeball just squinting at you. Gross. Okay, so there was a certain strategy to this where uh, you use the sword spin attack. Uh, okay, hang on. You, like, you can do quick spins, but it's really hard to do over, uh, over an emulator. Ah, Jesus Christ, okay. At least I have a fairy, so I'm not too worried about this. But I'm already almost halfway through my life, so I don't know. Okay, I think I've got this. Oh, come on. Ah, Jesus. It was almost like as if it was... Ah, God dang it. Get out of here. Okay, okay, his eye is starting to show itself. Or not. Okay, this is gonna be epic failure right here. Maybe if I just keep spamming a bunch of arrows, but then I'll run out eventually, so I don't wanna do too much of that. There we go. Okay. Oh, Christ. He's gonna- oh, Jesus. Okay, okay, no, 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 I did not mean anything that I said about you, sir. No, 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 stop targeting! Stop targeting! Oh no, we're about to die here. This is not good. Okay, well, we've got a fairy, so I'm- uh-oh. Okay, well, we have a fairy, so whatever. <sighs> okay, run, Link. Run. Ah, Jesus. No, Ebly! Okay, is there any way to actually stop it from... Maybe I have to shoot at it? Ah, Jesus, stupid freaking bubbles. Get out of here. Okay, okay, I, I've got this. I, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, no, 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 Maybe I have to destroy all the bubbles. Oh, Jesus Christ, he takes up so much 
Life! I might have to restart this because this is embarrassing. Oh god, he's looking at us. Dibli! Okay, okay, okay. There you go. Take that, you fool. Dibli! No, 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 no! Okay, okay, okay. How the hell is it even moving? Like, it doesn't have legs, it just slides or some crap? And I think we have to fight him again at some point, don't we? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Tattle, you are not doing your freaking job! Okay, there we go. Okay. So we finished the first version. We'll have, we'll have to fight him again later, and I am not excited about that. I really want to get another fairy because that was embarrassingly pathetic. Okay, is there any more arrows here because I've only got it in the single digits now? Okay, I guess maybe I could have used bombs, but whatever. Anyways, we got a fancy treasure in here. And one of the best items. You got the ice arrow, set it to see to power up your arrows. Now you can freeze enemies and objects, try it everywhere. So they didn't really bother to make this as important in Ocarina of Time, because in Ocarina of Time it was the strongest arrow, but it, like, it was kind of pointless because you get it so late in the game, like why even bother? It was just one of those things. Okay, now I definitely want to get more arrows here. Not freaking useless rubies. Get out of here. Oh, but good thing that they spawn magic jars. That's always good. Aha, you spawn arrows. Okay. Okay, and then we get bombs. Other crap that I don't need. Gosh, look at all these rupees. What a freaking waste. Okay, I want for that. Okay, good. They're respawning because I need more arrows and crap. Okay. Put you. Okay. Okay, so now that we have full magic, the hint that Tattle was giving us, which was to freeze the Octorox, is precisely what we're gonna do. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, okay, I got this. Okay. Okay. So then we'll just swim over here. No, get away. Stupid Octorok. Okay. And Tattle, can you please do your job? Okay. Pitch you. So there, now it turns into a big heaping block. Except we've only got a limited amount of time to be able to do this, and we have to remove the bunny hood. Because if we keep it on, then it'll extend our jump. And we definitely don't want that, because then we'll miss the actual block itself. I really don't know how Link is pulling this, but whatever. Video game logic. There's some weird design on that thing. Can't make it out, but it looks kind of like a monster. Anyways, I have no idea what that actually did. Whatever. At this point, do I really care? Let's transform and get the heck out of here. I think it changed the water current. I could be wrong, though. And I'm scared that I forgot a fairy here. So, ah, oh, god dang it. So I definitely want to attack all of these. Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh, come on. Barely even hurt you. Okay, how the hell am I supposed to get at it? Because... Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, how do you... How do you defeat these things? Because I can't seem to hit it. There we go, Jesus Christ. Oh, and it actually has red thingies. They actually animated red blood for it. Hurry up and open your damn trap. No, damn it. That's what he said? There we go. I don't know why my aim sucks so damn badly with Sora Link. Okay. Okay, no, oh, no, wait, no, wait, there's more things here, okay. Okay, so there was no, uh, fairies available. I guess I, if I was smart, I would have put on the fairy mask, but whatever. Okay, so now that the current has shifted, I think it has anyways. I actually don't know. Uh, let's 
let's see. No, maybe it didn't. No, it doesn't seem like it did, because... Okay. Maybe that pumped the red pipe? That's probably what happened. Ah, oh, Jesus. I hate it when I get that stupid glitch. Okay. Ah, oh, god dang it, and I always miss the freaking thing. Okay, come on. Okay. Now, I can't remember if there's anything that we do in this room. Oh wait, yes, there is, because now that we have the ice arrows, then we can cross over to the other end. Because the platform is too short otherwise, or too long otherwise for us. Okay. Actually, I might as well just use the hookshot for the first portion so that I don't waste away too much magic. Ah, no, no, I did not mean to do that. Okay, there we go. Uh, okay, so then... We'll form some ice right here. And another one for good luck. I really like the sound effects for this. But I hate it when I frickin' miss. Ah, oh, Jesus, and because of the way that the emulator is, I ended up making three of them anyways. Oh, and now I can't even freaking get to the goddamn thing. Well, that's just great. That's just fan-freaking-tastic. Stupid game. No, why the hell won't it... Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Jeez, I almost didn't make that one, and I might as well put the bunny hood on so that it can extend our jump. There we go. Jeez Louise, that should not be happening. Okay, now this one is a little bit unique. Instead of destroying the enemy like how we normally would, which would be very tempting, then we're actually gonna freeze it. Because that way it turns into a block. And then we can climb up on it. Ah, Jesus Christ, so damn glitchy. Get out of here. Okay. So now we can, uh... Jesus Christ, okay. Pull it real good. And this, I guess, further activates the red thing, I don't know. Okay. Uh, maybe it makes more of that water flow or something, I don't know. In any case, I need more magic, so I better break through these boxes. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, you fruit basket, Link. Just, ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, well, I've been derping around enough, so you know what? I guess I might as well use this as an opportunity to talk about random stuff. Uh, let's see. Uh, what could I talk about? Random stories. Uh, since we're talking about water, I guess this is kind of relevant. Um, this one time, when I was about 14 years old, uh, my mother purchased Crystal Light. I don't know if anybody remembers that drink. It's not as popular as it used to be, but for its time, it was all the rage. And, uh, I drank it ev four liters of it every single day for four days straight, and then my mother stopped buying it for me because she thought that I was getting way too addicted. And I kept going to the bathroom every frickin' 20 minutes. Gosh, that stuff was too damn good. Ugh. Ah, Jesus Christ, get out of here, you fruit baskets. Oh, come on, you can't even... Ugh, Jesus. Okay, no, I did not mean to target it, just go. Okay, let's see, what other random crap can I talk about? Uh, let's see, what's water-related? Um... Ah, Jesus. Uh, well, I guess I don't necessarily have to talk about water-related things. I could just talk about random stuff. Okay, so here we have an opportunity to cross. Um, let's see. Uh, this one time with one of my managers at my previous working environment, she was telling me about how she used to be really overweight. Um, she looks great now, and she's in her 50s now, and she looks fantastic. But, uh, she's told me that when she was a lot younger, like in elementary school, she was really, really big. 
and I said to her, what's your secret for losing so much weight? And her response to that was, she just went a little bit silent for a moment. And then after that, she said to me, I discovered boys. And then one of the other co-workers commented that that is a very, very good way to lose weight. Especially if you need motivation. So I guess that was her subtle way of implying that she probably threw up a lot and did a lot of unhealthy things because she didn't actually answer the question. Go figure. And here we have yet another boss, and this time it's one of the frogs. Look familiar? And Jesus Christ, he is ugly as all hell. Okay, so the way that we defeat this fool is we have to actually use, uh... Well, I don't think we use ice arrows quite just yet. I think we just use the normal ones for now. Yeah, and then he gets all the way up there, and then we have to really quickly uh, fire an ice arrow at him. Oh, it actually worked. Okay, okay. Ah, Jesus. No, I did not mean to do that. Ah, come on. Blink is totally choking in here. Ah, Jesus Christ. Okay, what does Tattle have to say about this? You've run inside a mad jelly! Since its body is so soft, normal attacks won't do any good! Figure out another way! Come on, I did not need to... Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm... As far as I understand, what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to fire an ice arrow at it. Right here. So that way when it falls, it crashes. And then we use regular arrows to destroy this fool. And we could go up to him and use actual sword tactics, but you know how useful that is. And then we're gonna run like hell all the way over here so that he can't get to us. And lucky for us, we've got tons of magic available. No, get away. Get away! Okay, okay. So then we freeze him again. And then once he falls, we'll just use our regular arrows to get at him. I guess you could go up to him and actually use your sword attacks, but I just really don't see the point. Okay, that thing is really starting to scare me because I keep thinking that it's going to fall any second. And lucky for us, we've got enough supplies here. Get out of here. Okay, and I know that it's tedious to keep switching between the arrows, but you guys know how I play, and you guys know how tedious and how difficult this part actually is. Like, it's, it's better to just keep switching between the arrows rather than... Uh... Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, rather than, uh... Doing things the hard way and going melee or whatever you call it, or close range attack, because that's just way too damn hard, and you can only strike one hit at him anyways, so you might as well use your bow. I bet that's what he sounds like in bed. Gross. Okay, so now that we've taken care of that, we have a cute little froggy here, and I, I haven't shown this off yet. I'll do this off screen when I do this side quest, or if I decide to do this side quest, but if you use the Don Gero mask and then talk to him, Alright, John Garrow, it's been so long. What has brought you all this way? Could it be you came all this way looking for me? Ah, you need not say a thing upon seeing that face, I understand. Is it true? But I heard that it was still winter in the mountains. When spring comes, excuse me, I shall definitely go to the mountains, so let us meet again. Okay, so I just wanted to show that part off. It's not really important, but whatever. Okay. Uh... Okay, so moving on. I don't think that there's any hearts in any of these. No, probably not, because that would have made the battle way too easy. So, well, let's just go through this door. And what do we got here? We got the boss key. 
I'm surprised to say that we're actually pretty far into this. Okay. No, I did not mean to do that. Okay. Uh, let's see. I don't think there's any more fairies here. No, there isn't. Okay, so we might as well, uh... What the heck were we supposed to even do at this point? Okay, well, we've got the boss key, so now what? I don't even remember. Oh, well, whatever. I'll continue to explore. Uh, let's see. Maybe we should go in through this way? Uh, no, I did not mean to... Ah, Jesus Christ. This is just so much damn failure. I think maybe we have to go back to the first room. Yeah, that's probably what we have to do. Get out of here, you piece of crap. Okay, I need hearts. And I guess I might as well go back to the beginning area because that's where a fairy is available and I definitely want to take that with me because you guys all know how I play. Okay. Now, uh, let's see. What other stuff can I talk about? Hmm. Oh, at work, just last week, uh, my manager had a bit of a spaz attack. Not at me or anything, but, uh, so in case some of you didn't know, I work overnights at a retail business. And, uh, my manager is always really pissed off because he's he really hates this job and I know you might be thinking well then why does he work there it, like this is the best that he could get at this point in time uh, anyways he's like super miserable about it and m me and one of my co-workers were talking and we're convinced that he's probably depressed but uh, he had a bit of a spaz last week because uh, somebody left a bunch of freight on the floor. I don't know why, but it was scattered all over the place. And he saw it, and then he says, what the hell is this all doing here? Jesus Christ, I'm freaking sick of this place. And there was more offensive language than that included, but that's the gist of it, really. And, uh... He started kicking all of the freight out of the way. And, like, he had this really angry walk. Like, he was stomping all over the place. And because he wears his keys, like, on the side of his pants, then it kept giving him this clinging sound effect. Gross. But yeah, I, and, he, and this is typical of him to pull stuff like this where he just gets really angry. Okay, now what the heck were we supposed to... Oh, okay, 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 so, so here's the thing that rises up, but how do we get over there? I think maybe we have to go over here, because then that water that keeps rising over there, won't that push us up? I think... No, that doesn't seem right. No, because that still doesn't really make sense with how you get over there. Okay, whatever. I think I, I think I know what we're supposed to do here. It's actually across from the main area over here. Uh, because, um, because there's the thing, the water that keeps going, I think, is over here. Yeah, it's over here. It's, so the game prohibits you from being able to continue any further. So we're just going to freeze this crap. But you... Okay, and, I mean, I really don't see why we couldn't climb through it before. Because I really doubt that water would be that high-pressured. Ugh, this fool. Get out of here. Oh, and it doesn't even turn into a block. What? And that doesn't even kill it either? That is so cheap. Okay, anyways, this room is a little bit unique because we have to use, uh... We have to hook shot up our way. It's kind of complex and kind of dumb, yet clever at the same time. There was some other Let's Player that I was watching that did this portion and they were stumped. Because they were, they were like me in which they were just doing this from memory. 
Because, you know, things. Okay. Can I make it from here? Yes, as long as I have the bunny hood, I can make it from here. No, I did not mean to- Oh, god dang it. Okay, you know what? Screw this. I'm using cheats. I know that I'm not supposed to be using these, but guess what? I don't care. Okay. Let's get out of here. Back up here. Okay. Yes, I cheated. My gosh, it's such a big deal. Okay, I'm pretty sure that there's a fairy in one of these. I think so. If not that, there's probably a fairy in this room. Okay, I guess it's not one of those thingies. Okay, so we're gonna have to use our ice arrows to get up on that thing. And then after that... No, don't jump off the thing, okay. And then after that, uh... We have to hookshot our way up to the left from here. But for now, let's just grab this and pull it real good. I'm still confused as to what exactly this does, but I'm pretty sure it just activates a water flow. Okay, now, yeah, there's a thing over... Jesus Christ, the bunny hood. Okay, there's a thingy over here, but it doesn't really make sense to do it over there. We have to actually cross over to this area. Okay, I probably don't want to have the bunny hood on. Ah, Jesus, that was such failure. I hope it lasts. Oh god, okay, don't fall off. Jeez Louise, Link. Oh, and just in time, too. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure that we cross over to here. And then, yeah, 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 because then we would use the hook shot right there. And then we can land onto the chain area here. And then we have a chest, and I'm pretty sure this contains a fairy. Yeah, there we go. Anyways, that's long enough for today's episode, so in the next one, we'll probably finish off this dungeon. Until then, have fun, everybody.